One of Brizzy's true unique features is the block slider. A block is a section and here we have one that I'm going to turn into a slider with just a few clicks. The block has already been designed and styled and we recommend you do that with the first one and also go and check for your tablet and mobile responsiveness that it looks good before you decide to turn it into a slider. Once you are happy with the results, you go to the block settings all the way to the left and then you click and say make it a slider. The moment you do that, what Brizzy will do is duplicate your block and give you two identical copies of this block. You will know it's a slider by two indications. The first one is the navigation arrows on the left and the right and the next one is the navigation dots here at the bottom. Select the slide that you want to change, which in this case will be the second slide. I will click here on the dot and now I'm in the second slide. Let's change the background and now you style it like you would do any other block. I'll choose a different background. Just so we can see what are the differences between these two. And now if you want to add another slide, all you need to do is go to your last slide, go to the settings and click here on duplicate. You will see a third dot appears to select the third slide. Again, click on the dot or use the navigation arrows. Let's change the background so we don't get lost. Let's choose... And now we've got this slider here set up with these three slides. The controls are all over in the block settings or, well, the slider settings. Click on the settings, again, go all the way to the left, and now you will see the option here for slider has appeared. Click on it and you have the option to autoplay, which will allow the slide to autoplay and go on continuously. The speed for the transition between the various slides or how long the slide will be displayed before it transitions is currently at 3 seconds. You can move it up and you can reduce it. Then you also have the options for the dots and the arrows. You can select to have none or you can choose between the other variants over here. Same for the arrows. Styling is done over here under the styling option. In this case, we are going to look at the dots. We can change the color as well as for the arrows. Let's save our work, update it and then we go view it on the front end to see how it will display. And every three seconds, the slide will go to the next one. Once you hover with the cursor over a slide, it will stop the animation. Now you have, of course, the option to select the next slide with the navigation arrows or with the navigation dots at the bottom. It's also important every time to ensure that your block slider will look good on a tablet as well as on a cell phone device. Let's also test that. All looking good. If you want to decide in the end that you do not want the slider anymore, Go back into the page builder and all you need to do is go to the slide that you want to keep. In this case, I want to keep this one. Go again up to your settings and then just deactivate, make it a slider. It will revert back to being just one standard block. On the other hand, if you decide that you want to delete a specific slide, select the slide and just go up to the settings and delete. As with any block, you also have the option to go and make this a global block, as well as to save the block. For more tutorials on Brizzy, make sure to subscribe here to our YouTube channel. Also come and join the conversation over at the Facebook community and see you at brizzy.io.